Clev to the Padres. Is that Uh-oh. official? Yeah, I was about to hit the passing button. Uh oh. Hit it. Passing. I don't have a package, but they got him. Clev to the wow. Padres. I wish we talked about this a little earlier because I was leaning that way. Because you and I were talking Clev Yankees before this, and it just doesn't make sense. No, it never made sense like, to me. I, the the Yankees, hair, the prospect package, just like everything involved. Yankees don't have the minor leaguers to go get Clev. Clevenger can go to the Padres and be Clevenger. Let yeah. that hair roll, baby. Oh, he's sunshine. Have a blast Dude, his out name there. is Sunshine. Yeah. Ah, good for them. Good for them. Yeah, I mean, if you're a Padres fan, you got to be through the roof right now. Interested is to good. see the package. I feel like because of the the off the field stuff, people might be down on Clev. Like, go look at his stats. Yeah, it's really good. Career three two, but what is his last three seasons? Like nineteen, eighteen, seventeen. It's it's. <laughs> you counted back really well right there. Thanks. Um, his last three seasons, he's thirty eight and eighteen with a two nine six ERA. Two nine six over how many starts is that? Uh, 74 starts. 74 starts, 2.96 ERA. Like, Clev is really fucking good. I mean, he's the Padres one. And we, the Padres, we've heard rumors about them wanting to go get this one for a while. For years, it was Syndergaard. Yeah. It was the Padres have been in love with Syndergaard. And now they go get Mike Clevenger. Um, producer Zach coming in to help out with that one. But yeah, I mean, Clev's their one, right? It's Clev and Lamette, basically. Paddock. Clev Paddock Lamette. Paddock just shoved. I mean, look at the stats. It's kind of interesting. I know Paddock's their guy, but Davies and Lamette are out pitching Paddock significantly this year. Imagine if they lose in the first round. Try not to. Try not to. Who, who who's a potential because they're gonna be the four seed at best. At best. They have to be the four seed. Yeah. So four seed plays the five seed. So it's going to be whatever team can be second best in the division. And right now the NL second Central be- stinks, dude. Five seeds like the four seeds the best spot to it's be. It's not bad. Four seeds. Kind you'd rather be the four than the three almost. Yeah, I mean the wild card teams will be better than the five six in the NL. Right now, four plays five, and five is the Marlins. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, You'd rather uh, have the, that. The whole NL gets like worse. Like yeah. I think by the end, like we're saying right. that the five seed is so bad, and that means also the seven seed is going to be so bad. Well, yeah. not if like the Rockies get in at the, not if the Rockies get in at the seven seed. Yeah, I mean we have to see it all sort. Right out, now, Brewers are six. It's like you'd rather have play the Marlins at five, and you'd yes. rather be four than three. Yeah, you'd rather be four than three. I mean, the Cubs could still get that. Or the Reds that we're still in fear of for a playoff spot, they could be the five. Yeah. Like, they could still finish second in the Central. Reds so, don't win to watch. Reds don't win series, so. Good for, the, good for the Padres. This is the Clevenger deal. It's Clevenger and Greg Allen. Right. And a player to be named later. PBTNL. Quantrill, Arias, Cantillo, Hedges, Naylor, and Miller to the Indians. So you, you heard rumors that the Indians wanted a catcher. They get hedges out of all of the – because the Padres traded for Nola and they traded for Castro. So they had four catchers. Yeah. So they trade hedges to Cleveland. Naylor hit a home run yesterday for yeah. him. He's gone. Um, Quantrill is gone. So that's a, a pitcher off the board for them. Man, these deals are big. Dude, they, uh, I mean, this always sounds dumb and maybe it's too close to the trade, but I don't think San, San Diego gave up a big piece. No, they gave up a lot of little pieces. They, gave, they avoided giving up their uh, top position player contra- or prospect. Like, why did Cleveland do this deal? This is the most they could get for Clev. Clev has two more years. I mean, I'm 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 surprised. You'd think there's one pick, even like a guy like Moray Hone. Um, you know, the people in the chat are saying they're they're future shortstops. Uh, we'll see. I mean, Arius isn't like the biggest of prospects. He's not in their top ten. I have him as seven. Seven on okay. MLB. I mean, not st- that. when you're talking that range, you never know. Right. Um, you never know anyway. But yeah, I mean. 
Cal Quantrill, me and me and John had some silly debates at the end of talking baseball last year on him. He's been good out of the pen for them this year. Yeah, I mean, like what? Did, he's, what? He's he's got some arm talent. I think he's a former first round pick, but um, yeah, I'm I'm a little surprised. I mean, you know, people are saying Mackenzie Gore in the chat. I, they weren't going to give him up. He's like a big time pitching prospect. Um, but, but like Hedges isn't a piece. No, I mean he'll catch some balls and play good defense, but that's it's not. Something that moves the needle on the club trade. It's just a throw in. Naylor's not a piece. Jim, I'll I'll say this because you hinted at it before. If the Padres were to get beat in the three gamer, this is what their rotation's looking like next year: Clevenger, Paddock, Mackenzie Gore, who's like a big time pitching prospect, uh, Luis Patino, another big time pitching prospect, and Denelson Lamette, who's been shot. I mean, that's awesome. I the P- Padres are set up, baby. Everyone thought they got they got. They got beat in the Seattle deal, which we'll discuss that as well here. We'll just do a whole thing on the Padres deals with the NOLA trade. Mm. This is kind of crazy. Know what this reminds me of? The Garrett Cole deal. Yeah, just give us five guys. Cleveland just gets a bunch of pieces, a bunch of, you know, potential half to one and a half war guys. They'll get Clevenger through 2033. And Who's the only piece in the if, Cole deal? Moran? Like I actual mean, Moran, piece that- but... You know, he got out. The only reason we're talking about him this year is he got off to a hot start. I think since then he hasn't done nothing. This is, I mean, yeah. Good for the Padres, man. I mean, Hedges is not an offensive threat. He's got, no. I mean, he's, he's a very, very, very below average bat. Naylor's young. I mean, you know, if there's something there and he can play every day for them in the outfield. And again, I mean, Arias, Cantillo, you know, I, I, I don't have the full scouting report on these guys. Miller, we'll see. The chat says they're 7, 9, and 11 prospects. You're fine with that. 7, 9, and 11? That doesn't mean shit. If you're not top five, you're a crapshoot. You cannot complain about giving up a guy. No, like I thought the... Five. You can't anyway. This kind of makes clever. me question why the Yankees could... The Yankees could have matched this in, in a way. In a way. I thought there was no way the Yankees, because they don't have a good farm system, could have matched whatever was going to get dealt for Clev. This doesn't seem like a lot. And there's, unless there's something I don't know and I'm missing. Yeah, and, I'm and it's in, true. I mean, interested to hear and learn. But. You know, maybe Arias in the Yankees system, maybe he's the number three prospect. Who knows? So you're, you start looking the more at things more guys closer to the big leagues. I think yeah. he's under the volume of interesting close to big league prospects. They got some far away guys. This seems like the... The normal thing with a trade like this, but if you're if you're San Diego and you're getting Clev, you should be stoked. If you're the Cleveland Indians, you should be pretty bummed out right now. Yeah, dude, Indians fans. This is a guy who had great Cy Young odds to start the year. He's got a two nine whatever in his last three seasons. Yeah. That's tough. I mean, I'd rather get one bona fide stud prospect and another flyer. And you could probably get two flyers. Why this you, doesn't? This is the Indians where they can spin it and say we got an, a bunch of pieces for us to help that are going to help us compete it's this tough, year. Man, to spin it to their fan base, like you'd rather a stud prospect who's not than Naylor and Hedges. Yeah, I mean Quantrill, Hedges, and Naylor will play for them this year, and then you get three prospects outside of that. But they're not like elite, you know. Yeah. I mean, they didn't, they didn't get like a great major league ad or like one of the top prospects. It's yeah, they like, yeah they like didn't, that's in the they Bauer, didn't get an A plus. They didn't get it. Yeah, that's a good way. In to the put Bauer it. trade, they got Fran Mill back, who you're like, okay, this guy could be an impact forty homer player for us. Yeah, here I don't know. I mean, this <laughs> you know, two of these guys are shortstops. This is just telling me like, oh, they're moving. Lindor's Lindor. gone too. Lindor's gone. Great. Yeah. God, that stinks. 